Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to maintain multiple backups of your Railroads Online saves. Now when I'm playing a game and doing a series, I like to keep pretty meticulous backups in case something goes wrong or I want to go back and redo something. So for various games, uh, I've made programs or scripts that facilitate that if the game itself doesn't let you maintain different named backups. So if you don't know, your Railroad Online backups are saved in local app data, AIR saved save games. And that percent local app data percent will just expand to your user's local app data directory. So here you can see I've got slot one and slot five dot SAV. Those are my two slotted saves in the game. And then there's this various dated files and that's what my script creates. When you run it, it puts a, a time and date stamp on it. And we'll talk about that in a second. That's a Python script that somebody else wrote. But let's jump right over into the script. Uh, it is a PowerShell script, which is, if you're not familiar, is a Windows scripting language. It lets you run various commands and things. Um, you should never run anything off the internet without checking it out, <laughs> including my stuff. So we're just gonna walk through this real quick, line by line. It's a real simple script doesn't do uh, anything spectacular. Uh, we'll just walk right through it here. So this basically just says, if you get an error, just go ahead and don't, don't care about the error, silently continue. Here we're setting up a variable that says where the save files are located. So we're grabbing the local app data path from the environment, and we're tacking on that location. That's where the save files are. Uh, we're grabbing a date string here. This just says, get a date in this format, year, month, day, hour, minute. Then we're pushing the location. Basically this says, go to this directory while you're running this script. That's one way to, to look at it. Uh, now we know in Railroads Online, there's 10 slots. So we're just gonna loop through each slot. That's what this for loop is doing. It says, go from one to 10. And grab slot. One, two, three, four, five, etc. dot save. And then we're setting up a variable to see if we found it or not. And this is a try catch loop. It basically just says, try to do this. And if you get an error, do this. Only in this case, we're doing nothing. We're just silently continuing. Uh, so it looks to see, does this slot say one dot save exist? It does. Yep, we found it. Set that variable to true. So if we did find something, do all this stuff. So what we're doing here is we're getting a hash of the file. And what that does is it, it lets us compare and see if the current save matches a backed up save because the hash is created based on like the contents of the file. So you could have file A and file B, they're named differently, but if they both contain the exact same data, then their hash will be the same. That's kind of a simplified version. But we just get the uh, file hash of the save. And now we're gonna look for the latest backup. Uh, so GCI is get child item. It's just looking for all of the files in the current directory named slot one, two, three, four, whatever I is set to dash star. So it's going to look for all of these files for one. And then once we get to five, it'll look for, it'll find those files for five. And then it's selecting the last one. So it's getting the latest one. And then we're getting the hash of that backup file. And then we're just saying, hey, are those files equal? So have we already backed up the current save? If we have, we just write a message out to the screen. Matches the latest backup, no backup needed. If the files don't match, we need to back it up. So we just make a copy literally copying the file to the file dash, that date string name, date string, hour, month, day, not hour, <laughs> year, month, day, hour, minute. And then we're checking the return value. Did the copy succeed or not? If it succeeded, just write that message out to the screen. Uh, if it didn't succeed, then say, hey, it returned an error. And then you can troubleshoot. Then we, after we exit the loop, we, go, we do that for all 10. So it'll look for slot one, slot two, slot three, all the way out to slot 10.save, and it'll back it up if it needs to be. 
Then we pop the location, it basically says, go back to where you were when you started running the script. The script can be run from anywhere on your computer. And then the very last thing we do is we sleep for five seconds. And I have that in there just so I can see these messages before the window disappears. That's all it is. It's a real dead simple script, but I wanted to walk all the way through it. Like I said, you should never run anything without checking it out. It's not doing anything nefarious. Feel free to go look all this stuff up. You're super paranoid. I don't blame you. So I've got this script saved in my documents folder. It doesn't matter where it lives. Then I have a shortcut on my desktop. So I'm just going to run that real quick. I'm going to right click on it and say run with PowerShell. You can see there slot one matches, slot five matches. So I've already made a good backup. That's all there is to it. Let's talk a little bit about the Python script. Now, I'm not going to go too much into de detail on this because it's very involved, uh, but I'll have a link in the description. And it has instructions. There's a GitHub page. But you have to install Python, and there, there's a lot more to this. But what this allows you to do is edit your save file. Like, say you want to give yourself money, change your XP. And then um, I'm pretty sure it says she, Jenny Kamu, over on the, uh, the Railroads Online Reddit has written this awesome script. And she recently added where you can actually edit your rolling stock numbers and names, so it's pretty cool. So I've got this set up where I can just double click it. And it's gonna run a Python script over here. I'm just gonna walk through this real quick. I haven't actually tried saving my rolling stock, but I'm gonna go down to slot1.save. Here you can see I can go edit, you can go edit players. There's only one player, name's Kerbo. I could change my XP. I could change my money. Like I might need to make my screen a little wider. Hopefully I remember to adjust that in edit. I'm gonna hit escape to go back. We can rename or you can reset. I think teleport looks for a rolling stock that's fallen below the map and it will put it up in the air so it'll fall back down and you can maybe find it. But you can go to rename and you can see here's all my, here's all my rolling stock. There's, there's champ two, number eight. And you can change all this. So here's my mogul and the mogul tender. I haven't tried changing this, but it looks like you can change it. So I'm going to be playing around with that. I'm like I said, it's I'm just showing you that it's out there. I'm not going to offer any support on that. It's not my script, and it's fairly evolved to get it to work. But anyway, that's how I back up my saves in case stuff happens, like say my train breaks in half and flies off into space. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy railroading.